What's up, Ainy Babies? What's up, Ainy Babies, you guys? It's been a while, but I'm still here. <laughs> I'm hanging in there. Um, a lot has been going on um, in my life in the last couple months. Of course, you've seen the video with the storms and all the recovery and getting cleaned. So finally, literally... About a month to the day, the storm was May 16th, um, I got a call on July 15th saying that the new apartment would be ready that week. So I took off that entire week, it was a Monday, um, and I want to say either 15th or 16th, one of the two. And I took off the whole week basically, and I cleaned everything as much as I could and packed what I planned on taking with me. Um, the living room furniture, of course, is gone, um, with the exception of one chair. I think I thought I would need at least one chair, so I kept the one chair that was kind of out of the way, um, and I cleaned it as much as I could, the cushions and the fabric. Um, eventually, it will go the way of the warrior. I'm getting rid of it. I'm not keeping it, but for now, until I get new furniture, um, that's going to be what it is. I'm waiting here from the insurance, so they're dragging their feet, so I haven't gotten any help from them. Not surprising. But, Funky FEMA finally came through. Funky FEMA went ahead and gave me the $750 benefit, which I had been waiting for months for, um, which did come in handy as I had to hire movers. That was over $1,000 um, packing supplies, which... I had just gone through all of this. But anyway, I'm in my new place. It's amazing. Um, I feel so much better. It's in the same complex. Um, I was so intent on really leaving and going somewhere else. Um, but sometimes you just got to stop and listen to God. And God kept pointing me back to as much as in my spirit I thought I needed to go because some of the people who worked there weren't um, acting the best. He kept revealing to me in other ways that you need to kind of sit still because I have some other things going on for you that you're probably going to have to prepare for. So, I am, um, for now, I'm back in another unit in the same complex. Um, it's in a different location. It's sitting a lot farther back from the trees, so I feel so much more comfortable in case there is another storm or something's going on. I um, will be, I feel, I'll feel more safe. Um, so I'm in there slowly unpacking, slowly getting things together, but I feel good about it. But I wanted to stop through, not, not even so much to update you about the storm, but I mean, to kind of let you know that because of the storm, I haven't really been focused on losing weight on my Manjaro, um, story, trying to keep it together, trying to uh, be successful with it. I really haven't. Um, I've eaten crazy. <laughs> There have been times when I didn't have medication because um, I had just gotten a prescription filled for the 12.5, which is so hard to find, and the storm happened. And so I lost that medication, and it took me, wow, over a month before I got any new medication. Um, so I'm back on my medication. Um, I still have issues with the pharmacies. Um, keeping some stuff in stock and things of that nature, but I'm back on it and I'm trying to refocus um, on losing weight and actually getting back in shape and in control of all that's been going on. Um, so just to let you know, I have not lost any more weight, actually gained a couple pounds. The last time I weighed myself, which was a couple days ago, I weighed in at like 204. Um, which is still significant for me in that I haven't like gained a whole bunch of weight, but I haven't lost anymore, which is kind of a, it's, it's a little daunting, a little discouraging, but I'm not going to let that stop me and what I'm trying to do. I'm going to keep going. A lot of people look at me and say that I look like I'm still losing weight. I mean, and it could be that I'm building muscle because I have had to do a lot in that apartment as far as up and down stairs, moving stuff around. When I was in there packing, you know, it was, it was a mess. Um, it was a complete mess, and um, I just, I, I, I did a lot. 
um, moving box because I had to stage everything for the movers to come in and take stuff to make the process easy and quick. So I did, I think I felt like I was losing weight, but it, uh, the scale is saying, uh, girl, no. <laughs> so anyway, uh, again, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to just start the reset and move forward from here. Um, but yes, I am in my new place. I am kind of settled, not 100% settled, but I'm in a good place. I've like, I've cooked a meal, right? I've gotten stuff, I've got things in place most, for the most part where they're supposed to be. I've got some pictures on the wall. Um, so I feel good. And now I just need to get back on track with my, uh, Manjaro in this journey because I my goal is to get to 160 165 and that just hasn't happened with all that's gone on lately I just haven't had um I haven't had the mental capacity to even focus on losing weight or even trying to maintain or there's just been a lot going on in my family with me um my impact from the storm my sister her family was impacted by the storm I, I had been staying with them for the past couple of months and then they get impacted by the storm um by the hurricane barrel that came through this past uh maybe three weeks ago um so it's just been a lot going on um and trying to get moved and get and get everything organized and together i still have some other obligations i have to worry about um which i really don't want to think about today but i will be thinking about it in the near future um but now things that things are settling down I can go back to focusing on my weight loss journey, my Manjaro journey, and I can keep you guys updated on where I am and what I'm doing. So hopefully this video finds everyone happy, safe, healthy. Um, you guys are doing great out there, uh, making it in all this heat. <laughs> um, and I will come back again soon. You guys, I love you and thank you for all of you guys who supported me through all of this. Thank you. A sincere and hearty, uh, heartfelt thank you. Uh, I really appreciate everything that everyone has done for me and helped me through this uh, horrible time. So anyway, that's it, Annie Babies. I just wanted to stop in because I haven't even done this in so long. I couldn't, I have not touched Adobe to edit a thing and I'm still paying for it. So I figured I might want to go ahead and get something done today. Hey, hey, hey. So here we are. But anyway, love you. Bye.